today we are going to be making this Celtic weave stitch. Um, it's a really neat stitch to make. It's only a two row repeat. So once you get a hang of the two row repeat, um, it'll be so easy for you. It is an advanced, intermediate to advanced level stitch. You do need to know how to double crochet, front post treble crochet, back post treble crochet, and back post double crochet. I'm gonna walk you through it step by step. So let's get started. So for this tutorial, I'm using Stylecraft Special Erin. Um, it's a worsted weight yarn and a J six millimeter crochet hook. You can use um, any um, weight yarn you would like um, with the appropriate hook size for this stitch. So let's get started by getting our yarn on our hook. You will need to chain a multiple of four. So for this tutorial, I'm going to be chaining 24. Twenty-four. There's my starting chain of 24 and I'm going to be starting in the second chain from the hook um, but this first chain two does not count as a stitch. I'm sorry I'm gonna start in the third chain from the hook and these first two chains do not count as a stitch. So I'm gonna start in this third chain from my hook and I'm gonna work a double crochet. So I'll yarn over, insert my hook into that third chain from my hook, yarn over and pull up a loop, yarn over pull through two, and yarn over pull through two and that's my first double crochet of this row. I'm going to repeat that all the way across. Okay, for row two I'm going to chain two this chain two does not count as a stitch. I'm going to turn my work and I'm going to double crochet in this same first stitch. And now I'm going to start to get that um, to start with the weave part of the Celtic weave stitch. So I'm going to skip two stitches. I'm going to skip these two and I'm going to be working in this next one. I'm going to do a front post treble crochet. And what a treble crochet means, I'm going to yarn over twice. And I'm going to do a front post. I'm going to skip two and work in this stitch right here. I'm going to insert my hook behind the entire post of the stitch. I'm going to yarn over and pull up a loop. I'm going to yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over and pull through two. You do that three times when you um, work the treble crochet. So I'm going to do that again in this next stitch. I'm going to yarn over twice. I'm going to insert my hook around the entire post of this stitch, behind the entire post, push, pushing the post forward towards me. I'm going to yarn over and pull up a loop. I'm going to yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Now I'm going to go back to these two stitches that I skipped, and I'm going to work two treble crochet in these two stitches that I skipped. And I'm going to start with this first one that I skipped. So I'm going to do the front post treble, so I'm going to yarn over twice. I'm going to insert my hook around the post of this first stitch that I skipped. I'm working in front of these stitches. I'm going to yarn over and pull up a loop. Oopsies, there we go. Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two. So you're creating kind of an X. Now I'm gonna do that in this next skip, uh, skip stitch. So I'm gonna have to kind of work this around so I could see it. I'll have to pull this one back a little bit and you could see it in there. So I'm gonna yarn over twice, insert my hook around the post of this skip stitch, yarn over and pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, pull through two, and pull through two. So you can kind of see where that crossed look is gonna come from. Now we're gonna repeat that again for the next four stitches. So I'm gonna skip two, 
and I'm gonna do my front post treble crochet in this next stitch. So I'm gonna yarn over twice, I'm gonna skip two, and insert my hook around the entire post of that next stitch. Yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two. Now I'm gonna do that again in the next stitch. So I'm gonna yarn over twice, insert my hook around that post, and work my treble crochet. One, two, three. Now I'm gonna go back to the two that I skipped, starting with the first skipped stitch. Yarn over twice, and I'm gonna insert my, I'm gonna go back crossing in front of these two stitches I just made, creating an X. And I'm gonna work my treble crochet. I'm gonna do that again. Remember, I gotta kind of move these around so I can see that next skip stitch. It's right in there, hiding underneath. I'm gonna yarn over twice, and then work my treble crochet around the front post. And there's your second one. Can't see the Celtic weave just yet, but in the next coming rows, you definitely will. So if it's looking like this, you are on the right track. So let's go ahead and do that again. I'm gonna skip the next two stitches and work in this one right here. Work my front post treble crochet. And then again in the very next stitch. Now I'm gonna go back to those two skipped ones starting with the very first one that I skipped. Go back, working in front of these two, and work my treble crochet. And then I'm gonna get this one, the second one I skipped right here. All right, there's three of our repeats. Well, let's do it again, all the way across. Skip two and working in this next one. I'm gonna do my front post treble. Another front post treble crochet in the next stitch. Now I'm gonna go back crossing in front of the two, um, of the two stitches I just made and work into those two skipped ones. Again, the second one I skipped right here. All right, and there's our next repeat, and I think we have one more left. So skip two, there's my next one. Yarn over twice, insert my hook around that entire front post, and work your treble crochet. Next stitch. And now I'm gonna go back to the two skip stitches, starting with the first one I skipped. And where is it, there it is. And then find that second one I skipped hidden in there. Oops, gotta yarn over twice. All right, I've repeated that all the way across my row. I have one stitch left. I'm gonna double crochet in my last stitch. There is row two of our Celtic weave. So I'm gonna chain two, turn my work, and that chain two doesn't count. So I am going to double crochet in that same stitch. Now I'm gonna do back post double crochet in these first two stitches. So I'm just gonna yarn over once, and I'm gonna do a back post. That means I'm inserting my hook this way towards me and then around that entire post, pushing the post out towards the right side of my work because this is the back. I want the post to be towards the right side. So here's my hook around the back, um, going the back post double crochet. Let me show you that one more time. So I'll yarn over and insert my hook this way 
and around the entire post. Then I'm gonna yarn over and pull up a loop and work my double crochet. I'm gonna do that in this next stitch. Yarn over once, I'm gonna do back post, my hook's gonna to come towards me and then back up towards the front around the entire post. Now I'm going to skip two stitches. So these are the last two stitches. You can kind of see where the cross, the X is from the front. So I back post double crocheted in the first two. Now I'm gonna skip the next two. And I'm working into these next right over here. And here I'm gonna do a back post treble crochet. So I'm gonna yarn over twice. I'm gonna do a back post so my hook comes towards me around the post and then back out towards the other side. Yarn over and pull up a loop and work my treble crochet. I'm gonna do that with the next one. Yarn over twice, do my back post treble crochet, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, pull through two, and pull through two. Now I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna work into these skipped stitches. Last row we went in the front, this row we're gonna go behind these stitches because we want all the texture to be on the right side of our work, which is this side. Right now the back is facing us. We want all our texture on this side. So I'm gonna yarn over twice, because I'm gonna do the treble, and I'm gonna work in this first skip stitch. I'm gonna go put my hook behind these two stitches. Then I'm gonna come bring it around the entire post of the first skipped stitch. Yarn over and pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. And yarn over, pull through two. Now I'm gonna go into the second skip stitch. I just did this one. Now I'm gonna do this one. I'm gonna yarn over twice. And going behind, my hook is going behind these stitches. I'm gonna grab this post. Let's see if I can show you a better angle. And you yarn over and pull up your loop and work a treble crochet. And you kind of can turn your work right now if you want to. And you could see that weave start to form. So if you see this on the happening on the other side, you're doing awesome. Keep going. I know that going behind the stitch can be a little tricky, but if it looks like this, then you're perfect. You're on the right track. So now we're gonna do, repeat that again. So I'm gonna skip these two stitches. I'm gonna back post treble crochet into the next two. So I'm gonna yarn over twice, back post, so I'm inserting my hook towards me, around the post, and then back out the other side. Yarn over, pull up a loop, and work that treble crochet. And then it's again in the very next stitch. So for this side, your first two stitches of your X, the first two happen in the next section and then it goes back to the previous section you are working on from the last row. So now I'm gonna go back and do my back post treble crochet in the two that I skipped, working behind these stitches. So I'm gonna yarn over twice. I'm gonna grab the front post of my first skip stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop. So I think I did that wrong. Let me try that again. I think I grabbed both. There we go. Okay, gotta make sure I only grab this and nothing else. So you can feel for it, yarn over twice. Oops, and now I can't yarn over. Third time's a charm. Okay. So hook around the entire post of that stitch. Yarn over, pull up a loop and work that treble crochet. And then now in the next skipped one, yarn over twice. And do your back post treble crochet. And you can turn it over again and see if you're getting the look you're, you're wanting. And if it looks something like this, then you're all good. Let's work the next section. So again, I'm going to be skipping the next two stitches 
and working into these two. So I'm going to yarn over twice because I'm doing a back post treble crochet. Do that back post treble, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, pull through two, pull through two. Now I'm going to do the same thing in the next one. Yarn over twice, work a back post treble crochet. Now go back and work in these two skipped stitches right here. I'm working behind the two stitches I just made, inserting my hook from the back to, towards me, and then back out the other side around that entire post, and working a treble crochet. And then again in my next stitch that I skipped. So working behind these two stitches, inserting the hook towards me, around the post, and back out the other side. Skip the next two stitches, back post treble crochet around the next two. Yarn over twice, back post, treble crochet. All right, and then now we're gonna go back to the stitches that we skipped, yarn over twice, bring your hook behind the two stitches we just made, right around the post of that first skip stitch. And now around, that's th the same thing with the second skip stitch. And now I'm to the last three stitches of my row. So I'm gonna do back post double crochets around the last two stitches. So I'm just gonna yarn over once and do back post double crochet. And then another back post double crochet. and then double crochet in your last stitch. And we're gonna chain two and turn our work. So you can see that beautiful weave starting to form. For row four, we're gonna do a repeat of row two, working those front post treble crochets across. Get some yarn from my skein here. We did our chain two, the chain two does not count as a stitch, so I'm going to double crochet in my first stitch. I'm going to skip these first two stitches and work my front post treble crochets around these next two. So I'll yarn over twice and I'm doing a front post for this row. So my hook is going from the back, around the post and back out towards me. So I'm pushing that post towards myself, towards the front of my stitch. I'm going to yarn over and pull up a loop and work my treble crochet. Hi, yay. There we go. And I'm going to do th the same thing around the next stitch. Yarn over twice, front post, treble crochet. My goodness gracious, I can't get that last one on these. Now I'm going to um, cross back over these two stitches I just made and work front post treble crochets in these two skip stitches, starting with the first one that I skipped. Yarn over twice, insert my hook around the post of that skipped stitch, and work my treble crochet. And then now, I'm gonna do the same thing around the second skip stitch. Yarn over twice, insert the front post, so I'm going from the back, around and back towards me. Yarn over and pull up a loop and work your treble crochet. I'm gonna repeat that now in the next, for the next stitches. The next two stitches I'm gonna skip are behind these two um, front post treble crochets. You could see them right back there. These are the two I'm going to skip. They're kind of hard to see because of the weave um, pattern that we're creating but they're right there, these next two that I'm going to skip. I'm gonna work into these 
next two stitches right here. So I'll yarn over twice, skip one, two. I'm gonna work into this one, the front post, treble crochet, and now I'm gonna do the same thing in the next stitch. Now I'm gonna go back to these two that I skipped over here. I'm gonna start with this first one that I skipped. Work around the post of that stitch. It's kind of hard to see um, because of these stitches in front of it, but if you move them around, you can see it right there. Kind of get in there and move it around where you need it. And then work your front post treble and then do the same thing in this next skipped stitch. Now I'm gonna repeat that across. So I'm skipping one, skipping one, two, going into this one right here. Yarn over twice and work my front post treble crochet in the next Yarn over twice, front post treble crochet, and then now I'm gonna go back to my skip stitches starting with the first one that I skipped. And then that second one that I skipped. And then I'm gonna repeat that again, skipping one, two. Here's my next stitch. And working my front post treble crochet in this, the next one as well. And then go back, crossing in front of these two stitches, working in these two skipped stitches. So crossing in front, the first one I skipped, my front post treble crochet, and then the next one I skipped. Okay, I'm gonna continue that in this last section. Skip two, here's my next front post treble, where it goes in this stitch right here. And then again in the next stitch. Now I'm gonna go back and work into the two skipped stitches starting with the first one that I skipped. And I'm to my last stitch of the row so I'm gonna double crochet in my last stitch. And here is row four of the Celtic weave stitch and you can really see that weave pattern start to form. So you're going to be repeating rows um, three and four throughout the pattern. So we'll go ahead and do another repeat of row three where we do that row of back post treble crochets. So I'm going to chain two, turn my work, and I'm going to double crochet in the first stitch. I'm gonna back post double crochet in the first two. So I'm just yarning over once and I'm just doing that in the first two stitches. I can find that, there it is. Now I'm going to be skipping these two and doing back post treble crochets in the next two. I'm gonna yarn over twice I'm doing the back post so my hook is coming towards me, around the post and the back out the other side, and work my treble crochet. I'm going to do that again in the next stitch. And now I'm going to go back and do um, back post treble crochets in the two stitches that I skipped, starting with this first one, and I'm going to go behind the two stitches I just made. And then insert my hook towards me, around the post, and back out the other side. 
and work my treble crochet. I'm going to do that again in the next skipped stitch. Skip the next two, back post treble crochet in these two, starting with this first one. Oops, let me do that a little better. There we go. Back post treble crochet. And again in the next stitch. And then doing that again in the two skip stitches, working behind the stitches I just made. All right, repeat that again. Skip the next two. In the next two, do two back post treble crochets. And then do two back post treble crochets around the stitches that were skipped. Around the next one. Okay. Skip two back post treble crochet around the next two. And then go um, do back post treble crochet around the two that were skipped. Oopsies, I'm gonna try that one again. Hook got caught in something. There we go. Now I'm to the last three stitches of the row. So I'm gonna do two back post double crochets in the la these last, first of the last three stitches. So two back post double crochets and then a regular double crochet in the last stitch. There you have the Celtic weave stitch. Um, it's just that two row repeat, so continue repeating those two rows for any length that you want. That one row of front post treble crochet and then the back post treble crochet.